This product, as with all safety equipment, must be inspected by the user prior to each use. Refer to the written instructions and warnings provided with the product. The information contained in the written instructions and warnings supersedes all other information. Additional copies of the written instructions and warnings can be downloaded from the Buckingham website, www.buckinghammfg.com. Buckingham Manufacturing started in 1896, and our values of building the best and safest products has never wavered. At Buckingham, we are an ISO 9001 certified company and keep up with the latest OSHA regulation, consensus standards, and testing. Buckingham offers a full array of full body harnesses to be used in fall arrest, work positioning, suspension, retrieval, and repelling applications. Buckingham adheres to the ANSI Z359 and the ASTM standards when it comes to the design of their harnesses. Fall arrest systems are comprised of three components, anchors, body support, and connecting devices. All three are required for any fall protection system. Without the ABC components, fall protection cannot be completed. OSHA states in 1926.502D, effective January 1st, 1998, body belts are not acceptable as a part of a personal fall arrest system. Note, the use of a body belt in a positioning device system is acceptable. This makes the use of a harness a necessity. There are many different types of harnesses, including H, X, and Y styles. Sizing is very important to assure proper fit and function. To properly size a harness, measure your chest with a tape measure. Once you have your chest size, refer to Buckingham's harness sizing matrix found on their website, www.buckinghammfg.com, or in their catalog. Find your height and chest size on the chart for the appropriate sized harness. Certain styles of harness have a wide range of vertical adjustment fitting a person from medium to extra large. These models can be ordered by adding prefix U, for example, U6493700. Always inspect your harness prior to each use. Check for cuts, burns, loose stitching, holes in webbing, chemical exposure, broken stitching, heavy fraying, abraded webbing, bent or deformed grommets, hook and loop that does not adhere, unauthorized repair or alteration, exposed webbing wear marker, broken, bent, or rusted hardware, and webbing subject to fall. Note, the conditions outlined are not an all-inclusive to all conditions that could render a harness unsafe. It is the individual's responsibility to inspect his or her equipment before each use. If there are any questions as to the safety of his or her equipment, they should contact their safety coordinator or call the manufacturer of the equipment for guidance. Pick up your harness by the fall arrest attachment and shake it to allow the straps to fall free from each other. Make sure the leg strap buckles are unbuckled at this time. The leg straps and the shoulder straps will have a contrasting color. Kevlar harnesses will have a contrasting color stripe on the leg and subpelvic straps to distinguish them from the shoulder straps. Slide the shoulder straps over your arms as you would a shirt and into position on the shoulders with the fall arrest attachment in the upper middle portion of your back. Check to be sure that the straps are not twisted. Attach the chest strap loosely at this time to prevent the harness from slipping off your shoulders. Begin by holding both shoulder straps in your left hand. Slide the shoulder straps over the left shoulder. Put the right shoulder strap over the head. When properly positioned, the head will be between the shoulder straps within an area bounded by the fall arrest attachment on the back and the attachment element on the front. The fall arrest attachment should be positioned in the upper middle portion of your back and fall 2 inches above or below the underside of your armpit. The sternal attachment location shall fall from the underside of your armpit to 4 inches below. Check to ensure the straps are not twisted. The long portion of the leg straps will be hanging down behind you. Pull this portion between the legs, adjust to length, and connect to the connecting buckle of the other end of the leg strap. Be sure the leg straps are not twisted. Slide the plastic keeper against the buckle after adjustment. 
The long portion of the leg straps will be hanging down behind you. Pull this portion between the legs, adjust to length, and connect to the connecting buckle of the other end of the leg strap. Be sure the leg straps are not twisted. Secure the excess straps with the elastic band. The grommeted portion of the leg straps will be hanging down behind you. Pull this portion between the legs and through the buckle until snug. Be sure the leg straps are not twisted. Slide the free end of the strap through the leather keeper. Use adjustment points on leg straps and shoulder straps to properly fit your harness. Upon completion of adjustments, ensure the follow rest attachment is in the upper middle portion of your back. The leg strap buckles should lie on your sides, just below the hips. If your harness has a front attachment, ensure it is in the proper location. If your harness has work positioning D-rings, it should fit so there is one D-ring on each hip. Retrieval D-rings should be adjusted so as to be between the neck and shoulders. If your harness has a chest strap, it must be located across the upper chest area and properly attached and adjusted. For harnesses with a hook and loop chest strap, slide the free end of the chest strap beneath the right shoulder strap. Wrap the chest strap around the right shoulder strap and continue across the front of the left shoulder strap. Ensure that the hook and loop is securely attached. Continue to wrap until the minimum wrap label is at least 2 inches behind the left shoulder strap. Shoulder straps must be properly maintained on the shoulder. Some harnesses are equipped with outside mount straps in the waist area for attachment of a body belt. Unbuckle these straps and secure the body belt around the waist. Slide each outside mount strap between the body of the belt and the waist strap. Note, straps with plastic buckles are not for support of fall arrest. They are only for retaining a work positioning belt. 